Jason M. What's up, guys? Um, a while back, I made a video on what to expect from the Oppo N1, and the N1 has just been released. This one is going to be what I got right and what I got wrong about the Oppo N1, and it's going to be a fun one. So stick around for that. One is going to be not the successor to the Find Five. The Find Five is going to have its successor next year. The N1 is another brand of smartphones made by Oppo. The Oppo N1 is going to be somehow Oppo's kind of father. Going to have from 5.2 to 5.5 inches stand B screen. It's going to have 2 gigs of RAM. It's going to have at least the Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor. Even though I wish they were better, but they have to keep it at that processor for the price range. The price is going to be less than $600. It's going to have 4G LTE, which may work with um, AT&T or T-Mobile in the US and other carriers around the world. It's going to have no capacity buttons. It's just going to have on-screen buttons. Very good camera. A camera branded by Sony. It's going to have a Sony sensor. It's going to have a red touch panel, which is going to help you interact with the smartphone in a different way. We have open APS for developers to take advantage of it. Dual, um, dual firing speakers, but they are not going to be on the front of the device. The N1 has a rotational camera which can be rotated for selfies. It doesn't have a front facing camera anymore. The main thing they were touting was the color OS and the rotational camera. Those are the main things for the device that we touted. It obviously has a very, very big screen, a massive screen. You can see the hands-on from Engadget. The links to that video will be down in the description. And so there you have it. The Oppo N1 is an amazing device. And um, yeah, it has some disappointments like no LTE and uh, lower processor. But all of that was for the good price range, as I told you guys. And I hope everything just gets better with the device. I hope everything is okay with the Oppo Color ROM right now. Cyanogen mode was announced too and um, I just hope everything is going to be okay with it because everything just looks off right now they say it's a ROM or something I really thought Cyanogen mode was going to be integrated or something I thought this was a decision that had taken time but it seems like they still have to make a ROM for the device it's not going to be built in as we thought and so guys there you have it um, if you like the video please Give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Please share the video and are you getting one?